Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back. Let's play The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past and Super Nintendo. Last time, we took on... Well, not last time, but... I was going to say we took on the Thieves' Den, but that was the episode before last time. Last time, we actually went ahead and got uh, a couple items using the power of the Titan Smith that we got over here in Dungeon 4 of the Dark World, the Thieves' Den. We could have done Dungeon 3 first, but honestly, it wouldn't have really helped out that much in the fourth dungeon. So, whereas the myths that we got from the fourth dungeon actually helped out because we get a upgraded sword, we get a cool magic cape, we got a extra bottle, so we got all sorts of good stuff there. And speaking of bottles, I went ahead and got rid of one of my red potions and got a blue potion instead, and then I also got a fairy. So, there we go. Uh, there's probably other stuff we could do here. Oh, somebody wanted to point out that... Where is it? If we use our... Goodbye. If we use our, uh... Magic powder on various animals or people, stuff happens. Like this guy right here, it's chicken. Or a chicken, I don't know if it's any chicken, but I know this one for sure. Turns into a lady. Cook, cook, what? You turned me into a human. I can't even speak. Aha, it must be you who's always teasing my friends. The weathercock is always watching you harass them. Well, this human shape is uncomfortable for me. Ah, I want to be a chicken again. Cluck, cluck. Anything else? No? I'm not sure if you can change her back. Nope. Oh, well. Yeah, you can just screw with them a little bit like that if you want to. And then there's a little old lady you can turn into a chicken, I think. Uh, I think it's the one that's always, like, sweeping outside our house. Well, wherever she went. Actually, I think she might have went inside her house. Eh, oh well. Anyways, let's go ahead and head on to the uh, Dungeon 3 of the Dark World here. Yeah, I love being able to kill some of these guys in one hit instead of having to wait for like two hits or some junk like that with the regular Master Sword. But oh well. Anyways, the portal right here. There's probably other portals, but this one just works out good, so... That works. Um, can we even enter the forest from down here? Probably, but I'm not entirely... Okay, we can. And it's not as friendly here in the Dark World Forest as it is in the Light World Forest. And this guy takes a lot of hits no matter what, I guess. And again, I might have been hitting with my uh, sword beams instead of my actual sword. Now, this guy right here, I think he will steal your shield if you're not careful, so you want to get rid of him fast. And yeah, they're still going to do a fair amount of damage to us here. Okay, yeah, you do die in one hit. You just got to hit it the right way. Yeah, die. Thank you. And let's see. I'm trying to check out some of the areas before we actually go into the dungeon here. There's a couple entrances into the dungeon that I remember, but I don't think I remember all of them, that's for sure. So I think this is actually an entrance into the dungeon. Yep, this is one of the dungeon entrances. Or entrances, or whatever you want to call it. And these guys right here, the skeletons, or the boobies or whatever, yeah, they take a lot of hits no matter what sword you have. And watch out for this guy right here, the stealing master. He will take you back to the entrance of the dungeon. Uh, I want to start at a different area, though. Actually, we already passed the entrance. And you know what? Might as well just start over there, because I thought we could go further this way into the forest, but I was wrong. All right, now, any time you guys want to give me health, that'd be great. But yeah, cut down that bush, and we fall down in here into another entrance of the dungeon. Very nice. I'll take it. That guy's dead, and... Let's, uh... Kill you. Oh, wait, I don't gotta... Why aren't you dying? Why is that guy still alive? Oh, got hit him with the pot. For some reason I thought he was the one you had to turn over onto his back. I guess not. Okay, you stay over there while I hopefully find some health here. I don't want to use uh, my potion already. There you go. 
And this one I think we actually have to, yeah, we actually have to bomb that wall right there. And what do we get? We get a room that we can't do anything with. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think our hookshot will get us around there because we'd have to fancily maneuver around some of the uh, corners. And, well, that's not going to happen. And I'm pretty sure I've seen these before. You hit them, and then the holes in the ground change spots. So you got to be careful for that. Now, for this room right here, the cape's actually pretty useful just to get past those bouncing things and the, and the uh, armored octorok thingies. Because, well, the cape will make sure you don't get hit. And you're just going to take it. A lot of hits no matter what, aren't you? Alright, we don't have a key to go out there, so... Let's head over here, and I think there is going to be a floor master, or wall master, or whatever you want to call it, if we're not careful. Um, yeah, we did We did not make it very far, did we? Oh, well. There's a big key, can't do anything about that, so we'll come back to that later. And now I think we're in a... Well, I guess the same area. Okay, so I guess we did have to go into that other entrance. But at the very least, we got the map out of it, so that helps. Now, if we could just not die here, that'd be fantastic. Okay, you got a heart, so that's great. And for these guys, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and bomb those some. That'll get rid of them real fast, and we don't have to deal with them taking like four hits to kill, even with the forged sword. There you go. And I think it's these guys. If you uh, hit them with the the fire rod, and then if you hit them with the fire rod, they'll turn into just regular uh, Stealthos knights, or not knights, just regular Stealthos, the skeleton dudes. You don't have to worry about them being all hard to kill all of a sudden. Okay, ah, that guy got right in the way. Okay, go ahead and kill you. Um, ah, there's a key right there. I, oh, I got the key. Okay, that works. That actually works out pretty good. Uh, didn't want to do these guys again. And you know what? I think I just spoiled the dungeon item here by saying the fire rod, but oh well. I thought we had it already, but I was thinking of the ice rod. Bye to you. Okay, I died. Actually, I don't think the ice rod would really do a whole lot against these guys. Does it? Nope, I don't think it affects them at all. Okay, fuck these guys. Now, can we... Oh, that's, I think we have to use the, uh, the statue to get past this part if we want to get in there. But, gotta watch out for those damn wall masters. Or floor masters, or ceiling masters, or whatever the heck they're called. Actually, you know what? I think because he took me back to the entrance, uh, I was hoping there was going to be a heart in there, but... Oh, well. Go away. go. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to deal with these guys. Thank you. Alright, and might as well use our potion here. There you go. Right, try not to get clobbered by that chump. And we got the boss key already. Very nice. I'll take it. Alright, now what is... Over here. Let's see, let's see the map so far. Yeah, it's not really a big dungeon, actually. And apparently we're headed to a dead end over on this side. So hopefully it's something nice. And it's a whole lot of nothing. Okay. So some magic potion, and that's... It. Alright, go ahead. Stop it. 
Let's ignore these guys. Hopefully they don't get me on the way out. And... I don't remember how we're supposed to get over there, actually. See, there's nothing hidden there. Um... I'm not sure, actually. Alright, so let's go find someplace else to make our way in, I guess. Goodbye. Okay, I think this will actually take us to a different entrance. Ah, right here. Nah, uh, we need the dungeon item. Okay, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that uh, in a little bit then, I guess. Let's see if we can't find another exit or entrance into the dungeon. If worst comes to worst, we'll just backtrack to a uh, previous entrance. I think this will take us pretty much where we need to go. Okay, that works. Maybe not perfectly, but close enough. You bastard floor master piece of junk. See that? Eh, it doesn't really do a whole lot. Oh, it's this room right here. Okay. Did that change up the... Aha, it did. I don't know where the hole disappeared to, but it went somewhere, that's for sure. Ah, dang it, that's not cool. Okay, I could actually use you. Ah, damn it. Not quite what I was going for, but oh well. I thought there was like a key in here or something. I guess this room's just for, like, the fairy, I guess. Dang, I was hoping it would have uh, reset there. Alright, let's go back in there again, even though we're going to have to go around again. Yeah, we're going to have to go around, because I want to get that fairy back. Oh, and we're still on the wrong side here. Oops. Actually, the uh, boss for this dungeon isn't really all that hard. Okay. Apparently all the pits are, though. I wish these little Octorok shell things weren't so persistent, but oh well. They're there. We gotta deal with them. Now, let me get my net out here. And hopefully get the damn fairy without dying. Oh, where'd the fairy go? Oh, there's no fairy now? Oh, was that was the fairy just from when I killed one of those guys? That might be what happened. Oh well. All right, let's go back over here and see if the holes have changed anything. No, nah, nothing really. How do I get to that stupid uh big treasure chest then? Well, we'll figure it out at some point. It's possible there's just another entrance that I'm not remembering here that will make everything easier. See that? I know where that goes, but that's not helpful to us at the moment. You die. Thank you. Uh, there's a door with a key, but we don't have a key. I probably should have saved that key from the last time for something like this. Oh well. Now, where the heck 
Oh, it might be one of uh, these holes then, I guess. Alright, there we go. Or someplace new, at least. That's mildly helpful. Now if I can just get some progress here, that'd be great. The main threat in this damn dungeon is those damn ceiling masters, though, because they'll just show up when you least expect it, and all of a sudden you have to redo half your progress over again. Now for this part right here, you could simplify things by using the uh, cape, and I think I might. Yeah, let's go ahead and use the cape. Or, it can take too long to frickin' activate. That works too, I guess. See, that's probably a key right there. Or the stupid compass, thanks. You, know, you could actually give me something useful, that'd be great. Let's see, where are we at in the dungeon? Okay, I see where we are. But will this take us anywhere? Aha! There we go. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's bomb both these guys. Just makes it nice and easy to get past them all. Thank you. And the great thing about having the uh, half uh, magic power upgrade, or the half cost, is, well, it's really easy to get caught by a frickin' Wallmaster from Rebound. That bastard. Okay, fuck it. They're all dying. But yeah, the uh, medallions take so much less mana now that it's actually useful to use instead of never wanting to use them because they'll take up your entire bar. I mean, use a medallion and now it only takes up a tiny little magic pot to fill it back up. Whereas before, it would take, well, like two or three or something like that. Die. Thank you. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and just uh, not activate my medallion as I'm trying to switch out for the cape, but okay. If that's how you want to. Fuck. Goddamn fucking medallion. Not what I was trying to do. Yeah, now with the, uh, the cape, we're invincible over there. So, there we go. Uh, okay, let's put our cape away since it's severely draining our magic power there. And... Yeah, okay, let's try this again. This time, not get clobbered by the frickin' Steely Master. I'm just used to calling them Wall Masters instead of, well, anything else, really. Alright, there we go, we got a key. I'm not gonna open that door with it over there. Because that's, uh, well, that's not a door that we need to get through, I don't think. I see how it's right there next to the, uh, what is it? The big chest right there, I think. Yeah, we don't really need to worry about that. It'll take us back outside, but that's not really a big deal at the moment. Now, let's go over here. And there's probably got to be more ceiling masters in here. Okay, you die. Son of a bastard. It's a bastard combination of enemies with extremely high health and those damn ceiling masters. Alright, well that's nice at least. If any luck, that guy will just kind of bounce himself off into the uh, pit. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and grab these. Just gonna try to ignore these guys. Ah, son of a bastard. I hate those little bastards. I really do. Now, as for you guys... If I could find some magic power... Actually, could I just go ahead and clobber you guys like this? Yes, I... Okay, no, I cannot. Move, fuckers! Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't want to have to deal with all these idiots while I'm trying to get all the treasure chests and stuff in here. And this guy, he'll try to sneak up on you when you're trying to grab that chest right there, so let's be careful about that. Alright, there we go, there's another key. And this should take us right back to... Well, that one room that we were in earlier, I think. Yeah, this room. Alright, now, the question is... How the heck do I get over to that side? I think we have to kill these guys, actually. Like, all these guys in the room. So let's go ahead and just bomb all some. Screw it. Of course, I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. Okay. Yeah, that's the uh, door that we could have went through earlier, but, eh, no real point. Um... Uh... Okay, we gotta find a way to drop down near that uh, big treasure chest there. All right, let's head back outside. Actually, none of these do anything, right? Yeah. Like I can kind of see it, like in my mind's eye, how to do it, but at the same time, I can't, and it's irritating. Okay, this room again. I think if you had really good timing, you could probably freeze the hand and then hammer it for a big magic bottle. Or we could just get lucky and have it drop one anyways. But I think you could t uh, technically freeze those guys to just, uh, well, it'd be pretty good timing required. Alright, let's see here. Gotta figure out a way into... That big treasure chest room. Because I'm not really sure. I think one of the holes will drop us into it. I just gotta find the right hole, that's all. Yeah, watch out for that guy, he'll steal your shield if you're not careful. The bee, he'll just annoy you. I'm not sure what I'm missing here. Yeah, that's not going to take us into the dungeon. Yeah, I've never been a really huge fan of this dungeon, mainly for the fact that I never remember where to go. Alright, let's try this area one more time over here. There we go. Managed to not take forever killing that guy. That's great. Uh, yeah, I want to get to that uh, pit over there, but I don't think we can. You know, I'm going to go ahead and try changing up a couple of the uh, holes and see if that works. That's probably what I'm supposed to do here. Now let's try that. Ah, there we go. That makes life much easier. I should have done that, like, as soon as I got to the dungeon, but I did not. Alright, here we go. And now... Now we get the fire rod. Rock man has a red fire, but watch your magic meter. Okay, cool. So basically, sets your, sets your enemies on fire. Makes your life a lot easier. Takes up a fair amount of the magic power, but hey, it's worth it. Alright, now we can get out of here and go to remember that uh, area that we saw earlier that had the uh, like the neck bone attached to like the skull or something like that we have to go back there pretty much and that'll take us to the to the boss I think if you kill this guy with the fire rod it just kills him all the way okay good there we go Unfortunately, you can't use it to, like, get more magic power like the Ice Rod, but it does also do a lot more damage, so that's nice. Yeah. Goodbye. 
yeah, you could have you could have had this for the fight against uh, uh, the thief or whatever his name was. Um, uh, blind the thief, but it, it wouldn't really have done too much useful. I thought these guys turned into skeletons when you killed them with that. No, I must be thinking of a different game because I know that does happen in at least. Uh, I think Link to the uh, Link's Awakening, I think, at least, for the Game Boy. Now, these guys, I don't think they're too terribly affected by it. Yeah, they're still extra immune, but the hand, not so much. Uh, there's some hearts up there. I can, I can use that. Why not? Oh, I'm thinking of someplace else, I guess. Never mind. Go. Lots of money for those guys, at least. And then for this, just go ahead and set the uh, spine on fire. And there we go. It opens up his uh, skull. We can get in there and take out the boss of the dungeon. So let's go ahead and do that. Probably make this a little longer episode since I managed to get lost so much here. Okay, there's a key that we have. Uh, is there anything even useful down there in those treasure chests? Eh. Let's find out, I guess. Now, this part kind of sucks because you got these invisible uh, walls on the other side of the... Or underneath the bridge, so you got to figure out what side is what, taking you to where you need to go. See, there I am right there. Ah, there we go. Alright, these guys. Is there even anything down here? Besides that thing that wants to turn, to turn me into a bunny. I don't think there is. Okay, let's check our map. Nope, this is just a dead end. Oh, it takes us to the uh, the treasure chest that I might have needed. I think it contains a key. Yeah, okay, it's a key. But not that I really need it. Damn it, bunny. Alright, where is the... Uh, there he is. I'm just going to ignore these guys, because I don't want to die. And you know what? I probably need to go through that door anyways, so... Oops! I'm going to try not to get killed by that guy. If I can, that'd be great. Damn it! Down, dude! Now, let's see what's in here. Ah, these things. Alright, now I think we can actually make it to the point where these guys will end up in the holes on the ground if they were not floaty enemies, but they are, so never mind. Damn it! You don't have to go around all these right here. I just want to see if there's anything useful in the pots, like more hearts or something. Damn it. Right, goodbye. And you... Go away. And you know what? Just to make this easier, bomb build some. Some more health, more magic, more health. Damn it! That was a bastard move right there. There we go. Ah, I think you gotta walk all the way around again. Oh well. There we go. Funny out of that room. Uh, now for this room, we gotta light all these torches on fire at the same time, I think. 
And these guys are going to kill me, so you know what? Let's just die and get my health back at least. But we'll start right there anyways, so... It's not losing that, it's not losing that much pro progress. Actually, it's not really losing any progress at all, really. And... Goodbye. I don't want to deal with you guys. Ever. I hate you all. I hope you all die in a fire explosion of death. Oh, wait. You are dying in a fire explosion of death. Okay, that works. Uh, you know, I want those over there. Alright, now let's try this again here. And let's go ahead and... Can I get all four? Ooh, five for one, nice. I was only trying to get the, uh, mummies, but I'll take the Sailing Master as well. Thank you. Alright, yeah, now we gotta light all these uh, torches on fire here, so let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? So let's start with that. And there we go. Not too hard. Uh, this guy is gonna turn me into a bunny. Before that happens, I'm not gonna let it happen. I don't think the Bombos will kill that guy. Well, maybe it does. Okay. I could be wrong. Now for this, you just gotta... Well, I was gonna say sw uh, swipe the curtains until you find the right area, but I guess I got lucky and found it on the first try, so there we go. And you know what? Screw you guys again. I'm not putting up with you. There you go. Oh, and we get a key. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have an extra key just for the fact that uh, I didn't go through that one door uh, earlier in the dungeon, but oh well. Alright, and this is going to be leading us to the boss, so let's fall down and take him out. Ah, this guy. Uh, some moth thing. Now for this guy, you can either fight him with the fire rod and do damage that way, or, for some reason, this guy is actually weak to the Golden Bee. Why? I don't know. So I'm going to let the Golden Bee do some damage while I do more damage with the Fire Rod. Now if you wanted to, you could actually catch the uh, Bee again with your net. And then release him on him again. Uh, you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. Because otherwise the Bee will disappear after a little bit. And yeah, this guy, yeah, the Bee is gone now, so that didn't work out quite as I'd hoped. But, oh well. Let's heal up, and then let's uh, fire on this guy to death. I guess you could probably use Bombos, but, eh. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this uh, floor here, but luckily that's not really that bad. And there we go, got him. So a reasonably easy boss. Uh, honestly, the floor is more difficult than he is. But there we go, we got him. I can't believe I got lost so much of that damn dungeon. Oh well. I haven't played this game in so long. Link, because of you I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Do you know the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm? That is the way I heard it. Or this is the way I heard it. If a person who has an evil heart gets a Triforce, a hero is destined to appear. And he alone must face the person who began the Great Cataclysm. If the evil one destroys the hero, nothing can save the world from its wicked reign. Only a person of the Knights of Hyrule, who protected the royalty of Helia, can become the hero. You are of their bloodline, aren't you? Then you must rescue Zelda without fail. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Okay, so I was born to be a hero whether I like it or not. But, there we go, we managed to get the, uh, well, the, the fifth, uh, or the fourth, yeah, the fourth, uh, crystal there. In next episode, we're gonna go after the fifth dungeon, which actually has a very nice item, if it's not, well, very helpful, even if it's not, like, uh, 
Yeah, you'll see. It's a great item. So we'll go after there next time. But we might also explore some more of the forest. Because I think there's other entrances into the forest that we could have got to. To get to other parts of it. So guys, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.